To get started, the first thing we have to do is actually prep our flash drive. This one is right out of the package, brand new, it hasn't touched the computer yet, so I'm gonna plug it in and we can see what we have to do here. And we would need to use the Disk Utility app in your computer. I, I use Apple Computer, so that's the name of the app for that. So we're gonna open up a new Finder window, we're gonna go to our Applications, go down here to Utilities, and we're gonna open up the Disk Utility. Now, there's a thing called a partition that you might have to create you might not. Sometimes your flash drive is ready to go and ready to work with Rekordbox. If not, and you're unsure, you could always erase it and then create a partition. But see here, we have an option for a partition. Let me see, we wanna select our USB here. There is no option for a partition because this one is actually on the setting that we need. So when you create a partition, if you look on my screen here, we'll have these features. And what you wanna do, the one that I find tends to be the smoothest and has always worked for me is the MS DOS FAT partition, which this one is all ready to go on. So we don't actually have to format this drive. Sometimes you would. Sometimes you might want to totally erase your flash drive if it's getting too full and it's like not deleting things properly. You would erase it here and then restore it with the partition using the MS DOS FAT partition. So we don't really have to do that right now, which is nice. So we are ready to go into record box. In the bottom left corner here, we have the sync manager button. You wanna go ahead and click that. This is where our USB is gonna to connect to record box. In the top right corner, you see device. You wanna make sure the flash drive is selected there. Um, it only is gonna show uh, external you know, hard drives and whatnot here. So if you have multiple, you'll see them all. Make sure you get the right flash drive. Right now we only have the one. Next up below that, we have synchronized playlists with a device. We just made all those beautiful playlists. Now let's sync them up with the flash drive. Go ahead and click on that. And now you see the middle window lit up a little bit more and now we can select items in here. So we definitely wanna select the playlists and the ones that we made. You can have multiple playlists there the same way we created these and not sync them to your flash drive. Maybe you have two flash drives that have totally different kinds of music on them. A lot of people do that also. Um, Maybe some of the older flash drives are smaller and you just wanted to like split your stuff up. Uh, iTunes down below that, you don't want to sync with that. I've never had to connect that for anything because I just use the playlist in here like I'm showing you. So we got our playlist selected and ready to go. We're gonna hit this big fat gray arrow that's pointing to my right and we're going to add that in here. Now we should see a little loading bar pop up here once we close this. And let's see when this starts to work. All right, now we got everything loaded in. Last step, we just need to eject our flash drive so we can take it out of the computer and put it into our CDJs. So you definitely wanna do this within the Record Box app. And that's gonna happen right here on the left side. As you can see, I have that highlighted. Don't worry about this. We don't need this pop-up. Share your live playlists. This is a feature in Record Box where you can actually share the playlist of what you play but we don't wanna do that. Same with this. Just a feature where you can actually like put your DJ sets online by the tracks you played there. It's a cool feature, but I actually haven't seen anybody use it yet. Anyway, going back to our flash drive here, we're gonna highlight it like we have, click on that eject symbol. Doesn't always eject. Sometimes you have to force eject it. That's just the way it is. It should save your playlist the way. If not, then you might wanna go back in and try it again. But it looks like everything went smoothly. So let's go ahead and take this out and get our DJ gear set up and ready to go. So stick around because all the fun stuff is definitely coming up in the next lessons. Catch you in a bit.